I spoke to a local leader today, and he says that that's going to affect schools in three big ways. Low-income students, students who do not speak English as a home language, and teacher training. Those are the three things that will suffer. Kelly Richards is the superintendent of the Wasco Union Elementary School District, and he says roughly 9% of his funding comes from the U.S. government. He says his district will only have students attend class one day a week come fall in an effort to minimize the amount of kids in class and maximize the amount of social distancing. He says the decision not to run in-person classes full-time is a no-brainer. For health reasons, it is not a viable solution to have all students report back to school when we were all sent home under the exact same situation. So what we want to do is we want to get our schools open. President Donald Trump disagrees, though. On Wednesday, the president tweeting his belief that many countries have opened schools without issue and that he may cut federal funding if schools are not open. Trump did not announce any specific plans, but Governor Newsom today saying even if the president did have a plan, he wouldn't be interested in hearing it. I'm not worried about the latest tweets, and, and I can give you uh, ad nauseum examples uh, of why um, I've concluded that that's not the issue. Local school districts are looking to return to in-person instruction uh, to the extent possible. Robert Mazaros is with the Kern County Superintendent of Schools, and he says finding the right solution for this school year will not be simple. The Rosedale Union School District asked 3,000 families about what their preferred model for learning would be in the upcoming school year. 68% saying they desire a traditional learning environment, 8% prefer a full-time distance model, and 24% preferring a hybrid. And while the president has not given clear direction as to how he thinks schools should reopen, Mazaros saying they're doing their best to take everyone's opinions into consideration. On one hand, you have to ensure the safety uh, of everyone involved. And on the other hand, you have to make sure that the educational and social emotional needs of uh, your students are met. Now, even if Trump took actual steps to take away funding from schools, Richards estimates that that would be in litigation with Congress throughout this year. He doesn't expect that there would be any changes to anything uh, on the face of the schools until next year in 2021. But for now, here in downtown Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23 ABC, connecting you. All right, Austin, thanks. And taking you into the live center now for a poll because we asked our 23 ABC Facebook followers, do you think schools should reopen for in-person education in the fall? Well, with more than 5,600 voting so far, you can see that 59% of people say no, they don't think so, while 41% say yes. So if you